Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about the CO2 scrubber. Now, in order for you to uh, use this, you first have to unlock it in the tech tree. It's in materials and it's quite near the start. It's only free in. So I would recommend doing the pump and other things first. But when you're at this point, when you have the CO2 scrubber, you can install it and it looks just like this. You might remember it from the training tutorial. It works in a very simple way. It can fill oxygen and it can fill CO2. You have to consider how much power is needed, how much oxygen is produced and the temperature of this. Now, if you want to make any changes, you first have to stop it. Once you've done that, you can then play about with these knobs. There's two here, two levers. There's a twisty one there. Uh, this one you can't interact with. Uh, this one you can't interact with, but there's also a twisty one here. So two twisties and two levers. And as you start to play about with these, you'll see the difference. See the temperature goes down, but the power need goes up. Okay, so what happens if I move this one? Well, okay, that changes as well. So you can kind of play about with different settings here to try and get the most effective settings possible. See now the power um, is up to 4.5, but the oxygen production is up to 9.5. So um, if I want to bring this down to use less power, oh, it's gone up. I've used it it's too high now. There we go. It's back down again. That's good. So it turns a few times. So 3.93 power needed and eight uh, oxygen produced. I'm quite happy with that. I can go ahead and I can start this machine. Now, if I want to fill my oxygen bottle, all I need to do is come to my inventory Make sure that I have an oxygen bottle uh, that is not full up. And if it's not full up, I can click here on fill oxygen bottle and it will fill. Please make sure if you fill your bottle, you take your bottle. It'll be right here. You need to take it with you. Otherwise, what happens is you fill your bottle, you run out, you go on a mission and you go to change your oxygen and say, where's my other oxygen bottle? And at that point, you realize, oh, no, I left it there. So please don't do that. I've done that. Everyone else has done that. Don't you do that. Um, you'll probably do that. But that being said, this is the T CO2 scrubber. So have a play. Uh, see what you can get. I'd love to know in the comments what is your best uh, score on this. What oxygen, what temperature, and what power did you get? Um, let me know because uh, I'd be really interested to see what options there are out there. But that's how you use a CO2 scrubber. And be careful. Don't blow yourself up. If it's over 100 temperature and you turn it on, you could end up throwing yourself across the room and you could end up dying. So please be careful. Don't do that. Um, be safe. Uh, it does make a humming noise, which can be a little bit annoying sometimes. You might want to move it to a workshop or somewhere else. I kind of leave it here because I guess I'm filling up oxygen quite a lot. It's quite nice to have it by the doors as and when you come in and out of your base. This is how I come into my base. So it's nice to have it there for me. Uh, you place it wherever is right for you. Now, whilst it does generate oxygen into the base, which is great early on, if you've got trees and plants and other things as well, you're going to be creating uh, a lot of oxygen anyway. And so it's worth noting that if you have a lot of stuff in here, this is all producing oxygen. So each of these is producing 0.25 oxygen. You need somewhere in the region of about 12 oxygen inside to be able to take off your helmet. So whilst I could take my helmet off now, if I do that, uh, there is enough inside. So if I look in a greenhouse, there's enough O2 in here. Uh, you just want to make sure you want to be careful because otherwise, um, if you're in the room, uh, there we go, in the canteen, it tells you how much O2 is in this room. So make sure you have, if you're going to take your helmet off, make sure you have enough O2 in the room before you do that. Uh, and please, please make sure if you are going to take your helmet off, uh, don't go outside because you'll die. So um, if there's a power cut or anything goes wrong, you could be in trouble. Um, but otherwise, it's quite nice to be able to walk around. This does not deplete your oxygen. It means your battery goes down lower, uh, uh, slower. Uh, and it means you can run around your base. If you're spending a lot of time in your base doing work, take your helmet off. Uh, it just means you have to fill up with oxygen less. All right, that's it for this video. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.